What's good, you guys? My name is Polo. Hope you're doing well. And I have a request from a supporter. And today we've arrived on the band Rush. And the song I'm checking out is Tom Sawyer. I think I read the book, The Adventure of Tom Sawyer, when I was a kid. Let's go. Your mean, mean pride. His mind is not the beginning of the song sounds like a um, like a sports chant a little bit, you know, that you would hear in the stands of like a you know a soccer game. Um, really nice bass and love the drum pattern right off the bat. Let's do it again. Mean, mean, mean pride. We will, we will rock you. Kind of gives me that vibe. And, and this one, you know, to my ears, like the bass line and the drums are at the forefront. This guy's voice is very unreal, very unique, uh, you know, almost like the Wicked Witch, you know, <laughs> you know in the um, whatever fairy tale that is, but more in a masculine way, but very, very unique, unique voice. This is uh, definitely a really, um, the artistry as far as the musicians in this one is top, top tier. <laughs> The drummer is unreal. Did they all repeat that same riff from the uh, keyboardist to the guitar to the bass? That it was pretty amazing. And you don't see it a lot in music where the bass line 
actually repeats the same thing as like the the lead and does it amazing but this drummer is amazing actually all of them are incredible i can see why rush has such a large fan base especially if you're a fan of uh of live bands and these guys seem to be at the top top of their game you know here he gets high on you and the space he invades he gets by on you so much going on at once just a lot of awesomeness doing it while the bit while the guitar is doing the solo but he's repeating the same riff which is a, an amazing riff which I love <laughs> drummer is unreal this song they're, they're not really playing the background that much to each other i mean like you know while this is going on the, dr the drummer's not cooling down nobody's cooling down on this song you know <laughs> you listen to the solo but you're hearing all this goodness going on which is, is is pretty amazing this is one of those tracks where you can play back a million times and just hear new things because there's so much going on at once <laughs> thought Danny Green was the greatest drummer ever he, who is still a legendary drummer which is Tool uh, you know for those of you who, who follow the band and then I reacted to so many other great drummers since then all right so I was just at the beginning of my metal and rock journey uh, or whatnot and now I'm just seeing so many phenomenal gifted drummers man I can never ever pick who's the greatest drummer because you just you just see so many guys that are just extremely talented not to focus on the drums in this I think I had sampled this song a little bit via the buy me a coffee link somebody had sent in a request long time ago for it and sometimes I'll listen to like the first 30 seconds to see if I think it'll make for an interesting video and I wasn't ready really to hear it yet you know what I mean um, and now 
um, reacting to it. You know, a Patreon member sent in a request from this one. This wasn't actually from the Buy Me a Coffee link, although a lot of my requests do come from there as well. Um, but this was from a supporter via Patreon. I would say that. Do you think we'll ever get music like this again? You know, like the, this this level of talent, you know, the way these guys just click and, and and it's amazing to me. It's always amazing to me how talented artists find each other. I don't know if like extremely talented artists find each other or if it's a case where they just all push each other to be better, to be at, a, at the level that they are playing. And also, I'm not a jealous person. I have a jealous bone in my body. I never really understood jealous jealousy, but... For lack of a better better term, I envy these guys to all be in that room, creating that magic together and clicking the way they do. I mean, I can only imagine the feeling. But yeah, I'm Bamba. This was this is overall a phenomenal track, a great track by Rush, and I loved it. I actually enjoyed it thoroughly. What do you guys think? You know, if you're a fan of Rush, is this one of your favorite songs by them? And how did you feel about this performance? And what should I check out next? Let me know in the comment section. The engagement helps the video grow. So I truly appreciate you guys who like the video. Subscribe and leave a comment below of your thoughts of what I should check out next from Rush or your favorite band. As you guys can see, I have no problem reacting to Marilyn Manson, Bob Marley, uh, whatever have you. I mean, I'm pretty open minded. And if I don't like it, I'll let you guys know that it's probably not in my taste, but I don't have uh, an issue reacting to different things, but um, shout out to the supporter that sent in the request for this one. Um, it was a great video. So um, I appreciate you guys' time, and I appreciate you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.